Hey kids, how are you today? Ooh, do you like teddies? Me too. Let's draw. A little tuft of hair in the face. Let's not forget our teddy bear ears and eyes. Nose and mouth. Now we're going to draw our teddy bear sitting down. So we're starting with the front legs and paws and then we're going to do one on either side showing the bottom of each paw. Great job! Brilliant! Right, let's darken the border. We love to do this because it makes the colour stand out once you paint it. Right, we are going for pink first of all to do the inner ears. Ah, so cute! And the pads on the paws, because it's a baby bear. Yellow net for the snout, carefully painting around the tongue and the nose. Brilliant! And the tummy. Now we're going for black. We're going to do a black nose. And a red tongue. Mm. Can you stick out your tongue? Right, we're going to do brown for the rest of the bear because it is a baby brown bear. Yes. So using that horizontal stroke, we're going to go from side to side. Carefully around the other features. Great! Now we go for the body. Have you ever seen a real bear? Do you have a teddy bear in your room? Maybe a nice cuddly one? Perhaps it's not brown, perhaps it's some other colour. I have a rainbow teddy. I love it! It's got all the colours of the rainbow. Now what do you name your teddy? Can you think of any good names for this teddy bear? How about Rosie? And there you have it. It is done! Good job kids, you've drawn a teddy bear. Hi! Today we're going to draw and paint a rose, a beautiful flower, starting with the stem and the leaves, drawing the veins on the leaves. We're doing several leaves and then we start with the petals, nice curvy petals, one by one, at the top and the side, making our way to the middle and then a little fold in the centre and let's not forget the thorns, yes roses have thorns, right let's go for a red rose, of course roses can be all different colours, have you ever seen a rainbow rose, oh they're so beautiful but red roses are probably the most popular and famous all around the world. Why? Because they are a symbol of love. Yes, you can give roses to your loved ones. Just mind the thorns. Green leaves, of course, and stem. And if you like, you can draw your favourite flower. You can find a picture on the computer or in a book and perhaps try to copy the shape. And a rose is so easy to make. And there you have it, a gorgeous red rose. You did it perfectly, well done. G'day mate, we're gonna make a koala picture today. Yeah, did you know the koalas live in Australia? Let's start with the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Face and the ears. They're a bit fluffy around the edge. Next we go for the body and the legs and feet. Where will our koala be? How about sitting in a tree? That's what they do. They live in the trees and sit and eat the leaves. That's right. So we're drawing some leaves on our branch, darkening up the border. That's it. You can use the same black marker pen going over it a couple of times to make it dark or a thick one. Right, it's time to paint. Starting with blue. Ooh, we love a bit of blue. Outer ears first. And some pink. Yeah, inside. Brilliant. Going back to our blue for the face. I think we'll do most of our koala blue because I love this colour. You can, of course, do it any colour you like. Koalas are very often grey. Black nose. Lovely. 
lovely! Little bit of silver for the area around the mouth. Red tongue, pink inside the mouth. Let's go for blue for the rest of the body. Cute little arms hanging onto the tree there. Let's just go for silver on the belly. Back to blue for the legs. Brilliant. We're almost done with this koala. That's how easy it is. Going for brown for our branch. And green, of course, for the leaves. Gorgeous. And there you have it. Wow, an amazing blue sparkly koala sitting in the tree. Woohoo! Hey kids, do you fancy drawing and painting a sparkly fox with me? You do? Brilliant! Let's start by doing a little bow in her hair. Outline of the head. The eyes and nose and other facial features. And the ears, they're kind of triangles. Circle eyes, some eyelashes. If you want, you can pause this video and just copy it bit at a time. We're doing the paws and legs, a sort of round body and the back feet with the tummy. And the tail, let's not forget the tail. Darkening up the border. There you go. So it's pretty easy to draw a fox. Like I said, just pause the video and do it a bit at a time. Ready to paint. We're going for pink for the hair bow. Same colour on each side. Lovely. How about green in the middle? And a bronze colour for the outside of the ears and the main part of the fox. It's kind of bronze or sparkly orange, if you like. There we go. Excellent. Let's go for a pale yellow, goldy tint. It's going to go on the inner ear and the inside of the face around the facial features. Very carefully painting around those eyes and cheeks and nose and mouth. Excellent. The other ear too. Super cute. Pink for the cheeks. Black nose and a red tongue. Let's go back to our pale gold colour for the end of the tail and the tummy. And I think we'll go back to our bronzy orange for the rest. That's it. It's super easy. You don't need too many different colours. Just the colour of a fox. Take your time and Bob's your uncle. Should we give our fox a name? Hmm, what name should we give her? How about Fiona the fox? No? Okay, how about Felicity Fox? Well, whatever she's called, she's absolutely gorgeous. Well done, kids. You did a great job. Hey, kids. Oh, look at this cute baby. Would you like to learn how to draw and paint it? You would? Brilliant! Start by drawing a circle for the face and two circles for the eyes and the dummy. And then we're going to do a cute little bow on the head. Ah! Let's do it wrapped up in a lovely blanket. Some eyelashes. Now some accessories. Every babe's got to have their accessories, you know. <laughs> we got the milk bottle with a measuring line on it and a dummy, a spare one, got to have a spare dummy, a onesie, oh with a heart, don't forget the poppers, and we've got a baby rattle, to match the onesie of course, some more hearts, fantastic, let's just darken up the borders, our usual trick, so that when we paint it nice bright colours they stand out super well, almost done, Right, ready to paint. Let's go for a yellow for our milk bottle. Lovely. And some pink. Perfect. Let's go for purple for the handle of the dummy, then pink, and then some yellow to match the milk bottle. Lovely peachy colour for our baby. Oh, so cute. Carefully paint around the eyes and the dummy. The nose. Let's do the ears too. 
Okay, going for yellow for the middle of our bow and purple. Lovely. And some pink. Pink dummy. I think we've got a baby girl here. Ooh, purple in the middle. Some more purple. And a lovely pink wrap. Wow, she looks super cute, don't you think? Of course, you can choose any colours you like. Yellow for the onesie going around the heart. Hmm, now let's think about it. What colour should we do the heart? Any idea? Hmm, pink to match the neckline. Yellow rattle too. So you see, we've got a theme going on here. Lots of yellow and pink and purple. You can use the same idea and match up all your accessories with the baby. Oh, and you can choose. You want to do a boy? You want to do a girl? The choice is yours. I had so much fun drawing and painting this baby and accessories. Subscribe and watch more. Cheeky Art!